In 1603, Samuel de Champlain crossed the Atlantic Ocean in search of the perfect place for the royal king to settle in the colony, and many others have crossed the ocean with him. Now, it's your turn. Take a trip across the ocean and start your life in scenic New France. People ask me, Hey Lafayette, what's so great about New France? Isn't it just a smaller France, but across the ocean, and not really France? Not so full of non-looking French people. <laughs> No, that's not it at all. Let me open your eyes. Our great Louis XIV sent Champlain over to find a land of gold, but all that he found was a land of riches. We've got pristine soil, we've got land, and most importantly, we've got the most bustling fur trade this side of the ocean. Fur that will keep not only Europeans back home warm, but you as well here in North America. Uh, I'm sure you're scared to come over. It's an entirely new place. That's existed for at least a hundred years. It's the land of Roman Catholicism. You heard me. Good old Christianity. This is a reenactment of what I did last time I saw a Protestant try to come over to New France. Are you worried about those damned Indians who don't know what God is? Well, don't worry. We've got Jesuits taking care of them. Our friendly neighborhood Jesuits, also known as the Society of Jesus, will take your boys to school to learn how to be men and your girls to school to learn how to be wives. Well, the Jesuits don't take care of the girls. We've got the Order of St. Ursula for that. The Ursuline nuns came a little later than the Jesuits, but that don't mean they aren't doing a good job making your daughters into nuns and housewives. No worries about who will be leading New France, because it'll be the king and the governor himself. And don't worry about people taking your land, because rules and laws will keep you safe and secure in New France. Discipline and obedience is mandatory. Obey the king. The government in charge will keep things in order. Only the small taxes are required. That's it. See, it's a give and take kind of thing. You settle here in New France and get tons of resources that are hard to get back home in France, like fur and land. In return, a small tax will be placed so that everyone is happy. I think you're wondering about who was living in New France before it was even created. Good old First Nations groups were and are living in New France. They're friendly if you cooperate. Fur trees are on the boom here in New France, and the Huron are fur dealers that will make you rich. So keep the alliance going with the Huron, and life will be just fine in New France. I know Champlain was eager to help the Huron fire their guns at the Iroquois Confederacy back in the 1600s, and I know the Five Nation Iroquois savagely attacked St. Marie among the Hurons in Christian Island, but times have changed. Because we French actually respect the First Nations, in 1701, over 40 nations, including the Iroquois, signed the Great Peace of Montreal. If, <laughs> for some weird reason, war broke out in, I don't know, say 1756, the nations would stay neutral. New France is land for newcomers and its environment is based upon more people living in it. Make New France a better place by simply coming here and taking advantage of all these resources that are waiting for someone to use them. Unless you're planning on bringing back the Coeur de Bois lifestyle, because that's banned. Stay out. Speaking of resources to use, I bet you like women. Well, thanks to Jean Talon, the infamous intendant of New France, who also got international trade booming, you can forget about being a lonely loser who can't get a girl in France, and instead become a lonely loser who can't get a girl in New France. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. There's plenty of fine women over in New France, thanks to our Fille de Ra program. Thanks, Jean. Jean was a commoner that managed laws and finances. That's right, that could be you. Maybe you'll be appointed by the king-loving, rule-enacting, relationship-maintaining governor. Seigneurs will probably get a job before habitants, but I'm sure you'll get something. Or maybe you won't. Maybe you're a criminal, slave, indentured servant or something, and you don't deserve anything. When you're trading for, know that you've got reliable people above you. The Sovereign Council, appointed by the governor, really knows what they're doing. They're the trustworthy common folk, deciding the laws and how many taxes you're going to pay. They're professionals, I swear. Even though the fur trade is the best it can be in New France, maybe you want to farm and trade fur. Well, 
if you're all uh, goody goody with the king, I'm sure he can swing you some land and some nice sleigh <clears throat> happy toss. <laughs> and if you're not, <laughs> uh, then maybe uh, you'll be a good happy tongue because our signories are hand chosen by the king, and we all know that kings are the best judges of character. Damn you, Louie, that land should have been mine. Sceneries are laid out so everyone has access to water, being right next to the St. Lawrence. All the happy tongs that the seigneur must get to move in have their own narrow piece of land. The seigneur also provides them with a common piece of land to have social gatherings and church and such. It's the least he can do for having so much land to himself, and it's the least the happy tongs deserve after working their butts off to farm grain and make money for the seigneur, church, and government. In New France, no matter what you do, life's gonna be prosperous for you. You'll be able to trade to your heart's content. People tell you that the winters here are cold. <laughs> well, why do you think you're dealing with fur? <laughs> Forget about the weather and come restart your new life. <sighs> Forget about old France. I hate the British. <laughs> they think they could just take Acadia away from us. I don't even like Newfoundland. I just want our damn Acadians back. Why am I wearing a hat in bed? How is this being filmed? We're in the 1750s. I swear, I swear if I ever see a British person, I'm going to shove my fist up there. <laughs> Speaking of uh, restarting lives, Trading fur is worrying. Sometimes you don't know who that fur is going to. And that's why trading is French only. Haiti, Martinique, St. Lucia. <laughs> if we can keep it for good this time. Are all open to receiving French quality fur. Sold by you. Not only will you be reliant for fur trades, but everyone in your new home will be too. So, come, come to, to new, new France, France and, and a new life will come, come to you. you.